Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are going to be comparing addition of positive and negative numbers. So we're going to do comparing while we're incorporating that adding of positive and negative numbers. Remember, positive numbers on a number line would move from the 0 to the right, and negative numbers would move from 0 to the left. So on a visual scale, this is what it looks like when we add positive and negative numbers. Just a quick recap, there would be positive 3 minus 4, or positive 3 plus negative 4, um, and we end up with negative 1. So with this type of question, we would follow the rules. Without a number line, this is what you do. If the signs are the same, you find the sum. So you will add the numbers together and take the sign that is the same. So a positive plus a positive gives you an even bigger positive. A negative plus a negative gives you an even bigger negative. If the signs are different, you find the difference. And with that, you'll need to take the si final sign from the larger digit I know technically it's the larger absolute value, but it's the larger number if you just ignore the signs. And we'll look at that and see several examples of that in comparing. First off, let's do this. Let's do one example question of adding positive and negative numbers, and then we'll get into comparing them. Let's look at this one, 15 plus negative 4. The signs are different, so we're going to find the difference. These are the more complicated questions when the signs are different. So you subtract 15 minus 4 equals 11, and the final sign will be positive because positive 15 is larger than 4. Um, and so the, basically a way of thinking about that is that there's more positives than there are negatives. There's 15 positives, but there's 4 negatives. So your final answer is going to be positive because there's more positives than negatives. Just like those numbers on, or those arrows on the number line that we saw at the beginning. So now we're going to add one more aspect to this, and that's comparing using the less than, greater than, or equal to symbols. When you get a question like this, you have to evaluate the left side, evaluate the right side, and then compare using one of those symbols. So let's go ahead and do that. If we're evaluating, we look at these two questions. In the first, on the left side, negative 3 plus 12, the signs are different, so we're going to find the difference. On the right side, the signs are also different, so we're going to find the difference. In both cases, we get 9. So we have to remember the rule for when we find the difference, we have to find the correct sign for them. So on the left side, negative 3, positive 12. Are there more positives or negatives? Well, there's 12 positives and only 3 negatives, so our sign's going to be positive 9. On the right side of that line in between there, we have 3 positives and 12 negatives. So it's actually going to end up with positive 9 on the left, negative 9 on the right, and the symbol that would go in between is the greater than symbol. Positive 9 is greater than negative 9. Makes sense. That's it. So those are the steps. You solve both sides following the rules for addition, and then you compare the solutions that you get. Let's do two more examples, and then we'll wrap this up. These examples will be kind of quick. Negative 16 plus 12, and then 15 plus negative 18. In both cases, the signs are different, so I'm going to find the difference. 16 minus 12 and 18 minus 15 which will leave me with 4 on the left, 3 on the right. Remember, those signs are very important. We have to figure out if they're positive signs or negative signs. So look at the left side. We have negative 16 and positive 12. We have more negatives than positives, so it will be a negative 4 on the left side. Look at the right side. We have 15 positives and 18 negatives. So again, there's more negatives than positives. So we have negative 4 on the left, negative 3 on the right. And this is a complicated type of question, because negative 4 is less than negative 3, and that looks funny to us. But we have to remember that a larger negative number is actually farther on the left on the number line. It's actually a smaller amount. And our last example, negative 3 plus negative 4 
and tw negative 20 plus 13. This one's a little bit different. It's the first example where we've had two numbers that are both have the same sign. So on the left, we're going to be adding. If the numbers have the same sign, we find the sum. So we're adding 4 plus 3 or 3 plus 4. On the left, the signs are different. We have a negative and a positive. So we're going to be finding the difference. In both cases, we get 7. Now let's remember those signs. On the left, we have a negative plus a negative, so it's going to give us an even bigger negative. On the right, we've got 20 negatives and 13 positives. So we've got more negatives. So again, we've got negative on the left side. Negative 7 is equal to negative 7. So we need to remember all the rules for addition when we're solving questions and comparing. Remember, if the signs are the same, find the sum. If the signs are different, find the difference. Hope that lesson's been helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.